The animation begins with Tom struggling to open a mysterious tube from the previous season, but his attempts are in vain. With no progress, the team decides to carry out their usual patrols. Eugene and D'Angelo set out to check on the dragon's condition in the crystal world, while Tom, Alex, and Jun venture to the world above. As they scout the area surrounding a deep hole, an unexpected gust of snow blows out from within. Fueled by curiosity, they venture down the hole with their trusty dragon, only to discover a breathtaking world of ice and dragons. As they explore their new surroundings, Thunder, one of the dragons, slips and falls down a slope. Lured by the scent of fish, he approaches it, only to discover that it was a trap set by Buzzsaw, a dragon hunter who had been searching for the electric bird. There, he narrowly escapes from Buzzsaw's grasp, leaving the hunter stunned that the legendary creature actually exists. Shortly after, Tom and the others search for Thunder, who had escaped from Buzzsaw's trap earlier. Suddenly, Thunder led them to the bottom of the hole where they heard the cries of people in pain. But it was a ruse by Buzzsaw, who pretended to be lost and injured, tricking them. However, Tom asked Buzzsaw to keep the existence of the dragons a secret from the outside world. There, Buzzsaw pretended to agree, but Thunder's look of hatred betrayed his true intentions. As they discussed the situation, Buzzsaw tried to attack Thunder again but was stopped by Wu and Wei. Suspecting that something was off, they decided to keep an eye on Buzzsaw's behavior towards the dragons. Meanwhile, Jun called D'Angelo to check on Buzzsaw, who pretended to be sick. Tom also noticed something strange when he was cutting wood and found a different name written on his axe. This only heightened his suspicions towards Buzzsaw. On the other hand, Jun finally found Eugene and D'Angelo and reported the sick axes they found in the New World. At the same time, Eugene recognized the description and urged them to return to the world of ice as soon as possible, as the person behind those axes was dangerous. To expose Buzzsaw's true motives, Tom and Alex pretended to go out and get food while Thunder accompanied them. Shortly after, Buzzsaw tried to attack Thunder again but ran away when he realized he was about to lose. But it was all part of Buzzsaw's plan to trap Thunder, and he succeeded. However, Tom and Alex intervened just in time and managed to free Thunder from the trap. Feathers used her sonic sound, but it caused the ice to shatter and fall on them. Fortunately, Eugene and the others arrived on time to rescue Tom. Unfortunately, Buzzsaw managed to escape, but they knew he posed a threat to the world of dragons. As they planned their next move, they noticed an approaching storm cloud. They descended into a strange hole, where Tom, Jun, and D'Angelo ventured inside with their dragon while Eugene and Alex guarded the entrance. They entered the extraordinary place and they noticed some peculiar footprints that caught Jun's attention who was superstitious enough to suspect they belonged to the mythical creature Yeti. Later, when Alex and Eugene were outside playing, a fierce snowstorm suddenly hit, and they immediately rushed inside to take the other kids home. However, to their dismay, they realized that Feathers and Webmaster were nowhere to be found. The blizzard continued to intensify, and as they scoured the surroundings, Tom reluctantly urged them to give up the search and return. But it was not easy for Alex and Eugene to abandon their beloved dragon. Meanwhile, Feathers and Webmaster were struggling to seek refuge, and luckily, they stumbled upon a small cave where they lit a fire to keep warm. Soon after, when she feeling distressed and worried about their missing companions, Alex was visited by Eugene upstairs. They shared their anxiety about their dragons and confided in each other. After some time, she invited him to explore the enchanting world of ice once more. However, Jun quickly alerted Tom that Alex and Eugene were nowhere to be seen, and they immediately set out to look for them, hoping they had found their missing dragon. We need a longer rope. We got this. Eugene, I'm losing my grip. Hold on, Alex. Could catch Wu and Wei. Shortly after, Tom attempted to open the mysterious tube that they had discovered, using the horn key from his helmet. To his surprise, he found an old book inside. The next day, while patrolling the crystal world, Tom and the others encountered a dangerous fire dragon. Eugene, feeling overconfident, provoked the dragon, leading to a dangerous situation. Soon after, Jun, Wu, and Wei joined in the fight to save him. But Tom scolded him for his recklessness. Then, the argument caused a rift between Wu and Wei. During a break, the group examined the book Tom had found and discovered an illustration of a dragon rider from the Viking Age. Suddenly, Jun noticed that Wu and Wei were acting strange. Suddenly, they dragged her off to the world of ice, seemingly out of control. Then, they was headed towards a mysterious mountain, and despite the strong wind, they managed to climb up. The mountain was very steep, and it was so slippery. Despite a few close calls, they persisted until they finally reached the summit. However, their respite was short-lived as they were suddenly overcome by toxic fumes and collapsed from exhaustion. Suddenly, the ground beneath them shook violently, and they looked up to see a massive twin-head dragon looming over them. 
Their shock was palpable. Even Tom who had seen the dragon depicted in a book was taken aback. According to the book, the dragon was supposed to lead Wu and Wei into a volcano, but they refused to let that happen. At that time, they rallied their troops, ordering Thunder and another dragon to attack. But to their surprise, the giant dragon shielded Wu and Wei from harm. As the confrontation reached a crescendo, the big dragon spoke to them in a strange tongue. Suddenly, the ground shook and a massive iceberg broke apart, causing a tremendous explosion. There, Jun watched in amazement as the great dragon shielded Wu and Wei from the sharp shards of ice. Tom also realized that the dragon had good intentions and urged his friends to protect the creature. Once they were all safe, the dragon guided Wu and Wei into a nearby mountain, where it breathed a healing mist that Jun believed was therapy for the sick dragon. To her surprise, Jun discovered a whole community of twin head dragons living in the mountain. At that time, Wu and Wei were overjoyed to meet their kind and make new friends, but Thunder was still searching for other dragons and felt despondent. The following day, the group heard a strange noise coming from the world of ice, and they headed over to Tom's mother's research site to investigate. They soon realized that many dragons had been trapped by Buzzsaw, and were determined to catch him. As they were discussing their plans, they heard another strange sound and followed it to Buzzsaw's camp. Although he was nowhere to be found, they discovered a multitude of dragons locked up in an icy prison. Shortly after, Buzzsaw arrived with a fearsome dragon, surprising Tom who knew Buzzsaw had never been able to tame one before. Then, Buzzsaw immediately ordered the dragon to attack the children, but they managed to escape. From a distance, Tom saw Buzzsaw controlling the dragon using a whistle, which seemed to have made the dragon submissive. Then, the children quickly hatched a plan, with him sneaking into Buzzsaw's territory to investigate. Though he found a whistle, he and Thunder were caught in a trap. In prison, Tom discovered that the whistle was a fake. Meanwhile, Buzzsaw asked Tom to teach him how to ride the dragon, providing an opportunity for Tom to steal his whistle. Soon after, his friends had also arrived at Buzzsaw's headquarters and were trying to release the trapped dragon. It appeared that Tom had planned this all along, as he was dropped from above, but Thunder managed to free him just in time. Suddenly, Buzzsaw showed up, ready to command his dragon to attack the children. But when he blew his whistle, it turned out to be a fake. The dragon, now free, carried him away. The next day, Tom and Thunder went to search for Buzzsaw, but instead, they stumbled upon a dragon that looked like Thunder tied up and in need of help. After freeing the dragon, they named him Shadow, and he quickly became friends with Tom's new weapon. But the other dragons were annoyed by his presence and wanted him to leave. Eventually, the group escorted Shadow back to the world of ice and discovered a strange hole. Outside the hole, a massive dragon followed them. Inside, they found a unique plant and a box, but when Eugene opened it, he triggered a trap that caused stones to fall. There, he was hit and knocked unconscious. After escaping the trap, they stumbled upon a beautiful place where they met other little dragon children and an adult dragon named Nightlights who initially despised humans. But after Thunder explained the situation, they were able to coexist somewhat peacefully and Thunder was thrilled to fly with the other dragons. However, Tom worried that Thunder might leave him behind. Meanwhile, Tom's mother grew suspicious when she found his drone still at home, even though he had permission to use it. Back with the group, they heard a call from the leader of the Night Lights Dragons, who happened to be Thunder's father. Shortly after, Tom explained the situation, and Shadow grabbed his weapon, accidentally causing Thunder's father to attack. Suddenly, the other dragons also joined in, and Tom fought back against Thunder's father until Thunder saved him from harm. However, Tom had no desire to get involved in a fight, so he decided to release Thunder to his family. Sadly, they left the area, only to be interrupted by a panicked figure. Then, they rushed back to where the Thunder family was, only to find that the once peaceful place had become freezing cold and eerie. After encountering a confused shadow who was searching for another Thunder family, they ventured deeper inside the cave. There, they stumbled upon a remarkable Viking-era carving of the Hiccup family and even discovered Hiccup's prosthetic leg. However, they were oblivious to its significance. As they delved further, they eventually came across the Thunder family, who appeared to be hiding from something. Then, Thunder's father offered them a strange tooth, which had attacked them. Shortly after, they were expelled by Thunder's father, and they were suddenly ambushed by Freeze Blast, a dragon that used body heat detection to target them. Thanks to Thunder's father's intervention, they were able to escape with their lives, leaving their dragon behind. Only Thunder managed to evade capture, and the children hastily devised a plan to rescue the other dragons, who were being closely guarded by the Snow Dragon. Soon after, with a clever plan, Tom managed to lure Freeze Blast into a trap and successfully paralyze the dragon. 
but just when he thought he had won, Freeze Blast attacked him and Thunder with full force. Despite their injuries, they managed to save the paralyzed dragon from the clutches of the other snow dragon. As they regrouped and tended to their wounds, Thunder's father approached Tom with a proposal to team up against the two snow dragons. He rode on the back of Thunder's father as they engaged in a fierce battle against the dragons. Together, Thunder and his father fought valiantly against the snow dragons and emerged victorious, driving the evil creatures away. Let's focus all of our power! Once everything was safe and sound, Thunder's father gave his blessing for his son to join Tom on future adventures with other dragons. They said their goodbyes. Meanwhile, Tom's mother had been searching for her son and sensed something odd from his drone. She scoured the forest in search of Tom, but to no avail. As fate would have it, Tom and his companions had already returned to headquarters, and his mother discovered this news. The animation ends. The moral lesson of this animation is the importance of teamwork. Trust and communication are evident in the way the characters work together to overcome challenges and protect their dragons.